Here's our hinge, all welded up now. We've just got temporary big bolts through the top. We're going to pull out these tie-in bolts. And it should now be ready. And we lift the tongue. It's got just a touch of wobble, which is perfect. And now the tongue bends all the way over. Perfect. So when I put it together and welded it up, I had this piece of tin in between. Uh, you can see weld splatter and other things that kind of got squished. I had to hammer it around to have access to certain things like parts to weld. Uh, but that protected the joint and it also gave just a touch of separation so that when it uh, was welded together that it would come back together with just a touch of space. All right, these holes were uh, drilled exactly, on, I mean, uh, put in exactly on size. You can see the, well, this bolt actually goes in there pretty well. This other one, I think, with some weld distortion has made that really hard to go in, so it's hard to push back out. That would be a problem in uh, operation. So what we want to do is drill those back out. We're going to take a little bit of cutting oil and put it down in this hole. I'm going to get a fair amount to go down in there all the way down in there so that as we drill then uh, that oil is always present for the drill. The idea originally was to uh, use a 64th of an inch at a time. Uh, that's a roughly a half inch hole and so I don't have a 33 64th so we're just going to go the full 30 seconds to 17 30 seconds um, that's going to be you know, a little more than what I had intended, 15 thousandths aside, but that's okay. Um, so we're going to line this up the very best we can. It might be a little bit rough at the beginning, but uh, let's give it a shot. So that's perfect. Put nuts on the end. And that completely solves it. So, uh, done deal. Excellent job. <laughs>